My name is Doug Wood, and I'm happy to tell you about our great new courses from DC Wood Consulting. In this video, you will learn how our webinars provide you with real-life knowledge and practical skills. Our courses include tools and templates you can apply immediately to make your processes work better. Hello, and welcome to our introductory course. We're going to spend a few minutes to provide an introduction to the three-hour FMEA course offered by DC Wood Consulting. Here are the topics covered in the full three-hour course. In this short introduction, we're going to illustrate a few. Types and uses and benefits, general approach, boundaries, the ten steps, assigning rankings of severity, occurrence, and detection, and a closing exercise. Now this will go by quickly, so don't try and take notes. If you decide to take the regular course, we will move more slowly there. This overview will help you see the course content. There are many types of FMEA. This course covers the first two, design and process. There are some, there are some of the benefits of applying FMEA here. Once FMEA is used well, many firms feel that it is an essential part of their problem solving or problem avoidance. The two main types have different structures, but either may be kicked off with brainstorming to spark creativity, open up discussion, and talk about causes and effects early. In the regular course, we cover de more details on both design and process FMEAs. In design, for example, we discuss how FMEA is used when a new product is under development or undergoing a major revision. Regardless of FMEA type, the scope does need to be set early on in your FMEA application. This exercise on setting the scope is planned for about 10 minutes. You set up in terms of uh, each, each individual considers creating a ballpoint pen and then they talk about how that can go wrong. You know, you talk about pens that you've used, how you've used them, what you liked and so on. And then the, advance of, the, the use of advanced web tools allows interactions as if everyone was together in a real room. The 10 steps of running an FMEA are covered in detail. Here are steps 1 through 6 and in, in summary fashion and then here's 7 through 10. In the regular course you will get three Word documents with ranking scales listed. These are open Word documents that you can edit as you need to. This, this one here is for severity of impact of the failure mode. This scale is for the frequency of occurrence of the failure. This scale quantifies the likelihood of detecting the failure before it leaves your operation. All three scales are used in FMEA analysis and these three word documents come with the course. The course does closes with another exercise that lets you practice what you've learned and then the results are shared after the individual work is complete. If you choose, you can share your results with the class, and the instructor provides some tips following the discussion. Learning from others in the class and the take-home tools and templates such as this spreadsheet are key advantages for our live online courses. All of our courses are taught by top-notch instructors skilled in adult learning and internet instruction. We sincerely hope this overview has helped you see the content of this course. To find out more about our other courses, go to the register page listed and click on the name of the course offering for an outline. Thank you for your time.